how do scaling approaches like safe and uh, scrum at scale fit into this model uh, great question uh, so again those those models are trying to take something that works at the team level uh, by and large, and scale it to kind of in a fractal way. Scrum at scale is like an example of a fractal scaling model. Uh, scaled Agile framework is more like uh, Scrum wrapped in some other uh, more traditional structures. Uh, neither of those models uh, are really, in my experience, I haven't seen the case studies where those models have created lasting, innovative change in an organization. Now, there might be some people that have had that experience, but uh, instead, because I didn't find any examples of those in, in the world, that's why I started looking at these other organizations outside of the Agile space. Uh, even Geonetric, which is the example that we used here, uh, is not using a scaling framework, even though they use Scrum throughout the organization. They found that the scaling frameworks were too restrictive. And if you look at uh, one, of the, one of the shifts was from complicated processes to simple rules, some of the scaling frameworks start to conflict with that idea, right? They, they, there is a lot of complicated process, for example, in something like SAFE uh, versus simple rules. Um, so, so my preference is to be simple rules, but I think that the scaling frameworks are a good way to get an organization from Scrum at the team level to one step further beyond that, how might we communicate? But uh, the principles, these eight shifts are a little, I think, in my experience, uh, more effective at helping the organization grow their agility.